Hello, Libras. Welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your April mid-month. Mm, yeah, we're right about around the halfway point for April. Sorry, guys. I'm a little tongue-tied. If you're new to the channel, welcome, Libra. If you are returning to the channel, welcome, Libra. My name is Leash, and let's get into it. Sorry, y'all. My nose is a little itchy. Weird. I feel like y'all going to have a weird-ass reading. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well and feeling well. If you guys celebrated um, Easter and all that good stuff, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, there's my water. I'm so sorry, guys. Let me, my water, I left it on my table over here. All right, let me grab my water. So sorry, I'm thirsty. Libra, you might be a little thirsty. You might be spiritually dehydrated. All right. What is spiritually dehydrated, Leash? Spiritually dehydrated is when you're waking up. Say you take a nap and you wake up and you're feeling like really hot, on fire, thirsty, like you like you're a fish that's been out of water for like 38 hours. You know what I'm saying? You could be spiritually dehydrated. All right. Not to mention that you should be hydrating anyway. I know we're. I reside, we are transitioning into summer, so definitely want to keep up with your water intake. All right. I do apologize, Libra, but thank you so much for that. I appreciate your patience. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on into it, y'all. Let's get on into it. Let's get on into it. If you're new to the channel, welcome, Libra. If you're returning to the channel, welcome. I'm not sure if I said it already, but if I did, okay. Let's jump on into it. Keep in mind that we are in Mercury retrograde until the 28th of April. It started on April 1st, in case you don't know. Should know, but everybody doesn't. That's okay. Let's just see what's coming out for you guys, okay? We're going to pull some Oracle cards for you guys. We got the Moonology Oracle deck. We also have the Shaman's Oracle deck. And we're going to pull some Tarot. With the light seers, pull a little bit of cards from my deck I created, which is the Falcon deck. Um, we're gonna mix it up, so just sit down, get comfortable, go grab yourself a drink, smoke, cigarette, whatever you need, a snack, and let's get into it. Messages for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for my Libras. Yo, y'all, I watched this old school film yesterday. It's actually a classic. It's actually one of my favorites. I haven't seen it in it forever. But, show sure enough, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say that. Put it down below if y'all know who show enough is. If y'all don't know who show enough is, then shit. Communication is key, y'all. New moon and Gemini. All right, y'all could be dealing with the Gemini. You may have Gemini placements, Libra. <laughs> <clears throat> if not, you are just going to simply be, spirit is edging, I feel like, I want to say edging, I hope nobody's edging anybody, okay, okay, anyways, if you're not necessarily dealing with a Gemini, this could just be spirit letting you guys know to prepare to either for you to communicate something outwardly, or maybe this is going to be communication coming towards you guys, okay, I don't know why I'm getting legal, I just feel like this is something that it just won't end, it just won't go away. I don't know why I'm seeing legal here. You could be dealing with your twin flame, don't necessarily have to be, but I, I am getting something legal here, I don't know why. So that's for some of you guys, alright? Excuse me, in advance, I am in my sunroom. Let's pull y'all a shaman's oracle real quick and we're gonna get into it. <clears throat> interesting on the 16th we do have uranus going direct and we also have uh mars I f not mars is it mars i know it's uranus it might be mars too all right it might be mars mars is drive you know the traits of mars is aggression it's competitive energy here so you guys may be feeling like you need to be a little bit more aggressive a little more competitive when it comes towards going towards something if this is a job or okay now that fell 
It says Spirit of the River movement towards adventure is 50. Some of you guys may be approaching 50. 504 is on the time right now. Uh, shout out to the 504 boys. <laughs> if you're in the New Orleans. <laughs> if y'all know who the 504 boys, y'all know. Then y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Put it down below if y'all know who the 504 boys is. I'm going to do that again though because that card just kind of dropped out. If Spirit wants y'all to have it, they'll bring it right back out. They will bring it right back on out. Anyways, um, the energy of 1985 is here. So something significant could have taken place with you guys in 1985, whether that's a year of a birth, a year of someone transitioning for you guys here, okay? Or, again, something else could have transitioned in the time of 1985. It could be you, a significant other, a family member, take it higher resonance. I'm not really sure, but I am seeing 1985. Like, It's kind of looking like graffiti. Um, so I don't know if someone's tagging or someone likes to paint or just like express their way in creative ways with like, um, painting or sketching or drawing or something like that here, but I am getting artistic energy. I like it. We got moon mating, new beginning. So 41, which is what? Five. So y'all are definitely seeing like five, five, five. Or 55, or y'all are seeing 22 or 222. All right, 222 simply um, means that you guys are in divine alignment. Okay, it's indicating that you guys are like following the breadcrumbs essentially, you know what I'm saying? Um, and triple fives or you know, the energy of five divine uh, angel numbers, excuse me, I don't know why I said divine, but anyway, yeah, divine angel number 555 or five is just the energy of something that's about to um. <clears throat> it's not quite it could be it could be like something reaching its peak um i would feel like 10 would be like reaching its peak but you know whatever um so this could be like you're halfway through because also if we're looking at the energy of 10 uh based on terror right because 10 basically is like the things wrapping up and we're about to reset to a new beginning here so we do have the energy of 10 10 of wands might show up for you guys 10 of swords might show up for you guys um, could be dealing with the Capricorn, don't necessarily have to be, uh, don't necessarily have to be, but you could be. All right, could be, don't necessarily have to be. But anyways, let's go ahead and delve in a little deeper here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. This is general, so it may may not resonate for you guys right at this moment. Doesn't mean that it won't in, by May, I'm sorry, by June. Because typically my energy readings are like, they're extensive. They're like 90 days, you know, time period, possibly six months between, you know, three to six months. So take a high resonate. But all right. Anyway, with the moon mating, we have new beginning showing up for you guys here. It's definitely indicating that spirit is bringing in a new change or new transition is coming in towards you guys. Your lives, your, your I'm hearing your livelihood, okay? So I feel like this is a collectively... In multiple areas of your life is kind of what I want to say here, Libra, okay? <clears throat> so if you have been a fair person, if you have been sincere, uh, you know, just... I'm just getting, like, fairness with anything in your life, then I feel like this is the energy that's getting ready to be reciprocated back towards you guys. Remember, we just had the eclipse that happened on the 8th, so which was a few days ago. So some of you guys may have felt the energy instantly. Others of you, it... And maybe you're about to start feeling it, okay? And I'm telling you guys, man, I'm telling you, you're about to start feeling it soon if you haven't already. At the bottom of the deck, they're guiding me to look at Fool's Embrace. It's called Transmuting Pain. So, like, for instance, myself, I've been in a lot of pain um, because I've been working out. I've been, like, really being physical with my body lately, um... I got some things that I'm trying to set into stone where it will require my body to be in like a really good physical condition, you know what I'm saying? To be able to achieve these goals that I have foreseen and set for myself here. So I've been in a lot of pain, y'all. Um, I've been randomly doing massages, so you definitely want to do massages because massages, I'm sorry, massages not only are they relaxing for your mental state but your physical state as well too 
But when you're trying to align yourself and realign your chakras and whatnot, that's all a part of it because we may have our bodies, you know, we, we put them through a lot, you know, they do a lot. We care, they carry our weight around, you know what I'm saying? They carry our stress around. Um, they carry around unhealthy things that we congest, you know, unhealthy guts, uh, you know, things of that nature, right? And not to mention, like, if anybody does sports or if, if whatever, right? Just in general, we just do a lot with our body, so we don't really... Everybody, not everybody, some of you guys may, but not everybody really nourishes their body and really... You know, respects their body. <clears throat> you know how, like, LeBron James spends, like, over a million dollars a year on his body. Like, I would love to be in that position to spend a million dollars a year just on my body. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's important, like, you know, especially when you have children. Even if you don't have children. But for me, it, like, really heightened my significance lately because of my children. Like, they are getting older. They're wanting to get involved with sports. And it's like, I'm not going to be the fat mom. On the sideline, you know, can't even hold my sign. Not happening, right? So, I'm like, oh my God, like, that was another part of it for me, besides me wanting to be, like, spiritually healthy, you know, for my own, you know, my own goodness, you know, so that way I could have the goodness to give to them, right? And then other people that I come in contact with. Um, So, it's like, you know, I'm really taking it serious, you know? And it's like, also, too, like, when things are, when things are set to change they will change for years i've been anti-onion um i'm still kind of anti-onion but it's like kind of like i'm kind of becoming more okay with onions um and just other things that i just didn't eat and like now i, I want it like i'm ordering that shit like you know what i'm saying so it's like interesting but anyways you guys definitely have a change coming in here it says expect a powerful change it says new moon eclipse we also have a full moon coming up here, I think, around the 26th or the 28th of this month. So, with this powerful new moon eclipse that we just had, right? So, that's what I'm saying. This energy, you guys are about to start embracing and feeling it, man. If y'all haven't already, get ready, all right? And I feel like, too, like, that's what Spirit is, like, telling me, like, low-key. Because it's, like, out of nowhere, about, like, two, three months ago, I just, like... I've already been, like, talking, like, yeah, I'm gonna eat better, and I'm gonna, you know, start working out, and doing all this other stuff, and it's like, I wasn't really being consistent, and it was like, okay, do it, stop, do it, do it, stop, stop, it was like, not consistent, so now it's like, to the point where I'm being consistent, I'm meal prepping, I'm like, doing everything, like, that's what I have over there, I got my breakfast that is already ready to go, it's, it's primary blueberries, strawberries, bananas, um, yogurt, flax seeds, Water, plenty of water, um, just plenty of water. So, I've been sucking on ginger, like, you know what I mean? Nah, stop. But anyways, y'all got a powerful change coming in here for you guys, Libra. So, you guys could be feeling like this, too. You guys could be motivated to, like, really want to infuse your body with just, like, pure delicious yumminess, you know? Just natural yumminess, you know? So, soaking some dates and some milk and just, like, it finding complete contentment and enjoyment in, like, fucking up the dates, you know? Or, like, just really implementing, like, better, healthier snacks. Like, I got a cheesecake over the weekend. I'm not gonna cap. I did. I love cheesecake. Um, and I did have some of it, right? But I didn't eat it like I had, like, at one point in time I would have. So, I took a couple spoonfuls, and then when I looked at it yesterday, it was just, like, like, my body instantly knew, like, okay, motherfucker, you know what we doing. Anyways, a fiery climax is approaching for you guys. It could be, well, the, the card is saying it's in Aries. So, you guys may have Aries energy in your chart. If you don't, no worries. Then this is just saying, like, Aries is also... <sighs> Aries are, you know, like I said, like, you know they really are, they can be aggressive signs, like, they really can be, um, especially masculine Aries, like, they really can be aggressive, um, I'm not really seeing, like, in a volatile way, or whatever the case may be, but I am seeing, like, just overall aggression, you know, they're very direct, they're very, just direct, okay, we're just gonna leave it at that, so let's get into it, because I feel like we've been dragging, Oh, well, I've been dragging, not y'all, but I've been dragging. So, let's see. 
all right so definitely energy of newness coming in here for you guys okay we've been at 15 minutes already 15 it reduces to six so six is giving me like the six of wands also the six of swords so it's time to go in this new direction here aries okay whether you guys um i'm sorry libra why did i call you guys aries because um, we're talking about aries right duh sorry libra so a lot of fire energy is showing up for you guys too um, i'm seeing right out the you know besides gemini that was real prominent but i am seeing like a an aquarius energy here for you guys we do have the three of cups here so this is either reconciling with some people family friends or whatever the case may be this can also be you guys reconciling with yourselves right reconciling with what libra once was what libra once did what libra once found fulfillment and enjoyment in i am getting that here but i'm also seeing what the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck now I'm getting that this is a partnership or a connection or an opportunity that's coming in for you guys here, Libra. That's going to allow you guys to, like I said, this could be like an old team that you're reconnecting with. So I'm seeing SWAT. I don't know why I'm seeing SWAT, but someone could be in law enforcement, okay? And you are going to, um, you know, going to be... Uh, <clears throat> Um, whatever you're gonna be working with maybe old old colleagues maybe you guys went to um law enforcement training school or whatever the fuck they do i don't really know i'm not a cop um no shade to cops but i'm just saying i don't know what that looks like you know but any either, either way this could be college roommates or like college friends or but i'm also i'm really strongly seeing like work colleagues that you guys work with on this is like bomb squad or whatever like something like that here so i do see that you guys are working and connecting with other fields other people other players things of that nature now this could be this could be new friends new players new energies right that you guys are coming into contact with because we have a new moon eclipse right and we have new beginnings new 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 so it's just giving me an energy of newness uh but we do have the three of pentacles as well here so this is telling me that you guys are compromising negotiating remember what we've seen communication is key with the i believe it said new moon in gemini yeah new moon in gemini so see we got the energy of a lot of newness right a lot of new friends new friends new associates new partnerships i don't know if i said friends twice but i'm so sorry but it's just giving me an energy of newness all right with the five of wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck as well too it's like with the devil here with the five of wands in the reverse here so if you guys were associated or dealing with like let's just say friends right previous friendships where you felt like it was remember i said competition right so you guys could have been dealing with an Aries person that was in competition with you guys or maybe causing you guys to feel like you need to be in competition. 18, 18 on the clock right now, which is 9, 9. Let's get it. Let's get it. 9, 9 again is 18, but, you know, and ultimately it's 9, right? So this is the energy of 9, 9, 9 here. So you guys could be also seeing angel number 9, 9, 9, which is letting us know that things have basically... <clears throat> things have exhausted themselves right like there there is there's no more plays to run right like there's no more games to be played i don't know why i'm getting like mental games so someone could have been playing mental games with you guys or you them whatever the case may be here libra but i'm also it's just giving me that this is it like things are about have reached this peak and you know you're about to be, you know, exalted. It's kind of what I'm getting here. With the five wands and the reverse and the devil, it's like you don't have to fight for, you don't have to fight for things anymore, right? You don't have to be afraid either to fight, right? Because it's like giving me that as well too. So maybe you guys have to fight for things or maybe you were just like around people where it's like you were always looked over. You never were really seen, heard, felt, whatever the case may be. And it's like, now you're going to be, Spirit's going to be leading you guys into a new direction here where you're going to stand out, basically, right? The five of wands and the reverse and the devil here. It's like, people are going to, like, flock to you, Libra, right? Or vice versa. Um, because it's that time. It's time. So maybe this is like a spiritual cycle that has ran its course. And now, 
with this eclipse that we just had, like, this is a significant change. Because remember, these eclipses that we just experienced on the 8th, they only happen about every 19, 20 years. So this cycle that you've been enduring here for 19, 20 years is finally over, is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> yeah, if you guys have been feeling like you've been a broke ass, and maybe not even necessarily really a broke ass, but your finances, you guys just haven't been... Two, two, two's on the clock right now. Like, your money may not have just been where you wanted it to be. Maybe things you were trying to work with, connect with, the right people, places, this thing, things, or whatever like that. The five of wands and the devil. So, the five of wands upright would be, like, again, people, blo like, blockages, basically, right? With the five of wands showing up in the reverse with the devil here, it's like, okay, now, because what this expect powerful change is also giving me the star card. It's like, now, things can be, like wished upon right now things can come into re um into fruition for you guys excuse me i couldn't think of the name and excuse me again for sniffling i have allergies a little bit um they're lingering but it's also giving me what the three of cups and the three of pentacles here it's like now spirit is going to align you guys with the right connections the right people places and things now Things are getting ready to pick up for you guys. If this is you guys owning a business, this is your business about to expand. If this is you guys trying to start a business, now you're going to be running into the right connections, the right people that's going to align you with whatever you need to make this thing start. Go, hop, skip, jump is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yes, the Empress. Now something can be birthed, right? Now something can be discussed, right? Now there, now we can talk about the uncertainty because the Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck too with the Empress here. It's also giving me like what wing you want to be, you know, you want to have your child in, right? Or like, dude, what kind of birth do you want? Do you want a um uh, a home birth, right? Or what? Or you know, with a midwife, right? Or do you want to have like that pool birth, you know, where you're in the pool and you know whatever like that? Like what? What experience do you really want? How do we want to play around with this thing? How do we really want to look? Ten of Wands. I told you I knew the ten was going to show up here. I just didn't know which one. Um, but with the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here, it's like now something can be properly structured, birth, formulated, and created here. You are vibing in the Empress energy. So some of you guys, this is simply just, again, this cycle is ending here where disappointments, um, not feeling fit in, right? You know, struggle, 22, 42 is on the clock right now. And I personally see 242 all the time. But with the Ten of Wands here, it's like constantly on the go, like never being able to fully be settled, not being welcome, not being... You know, it's kind of giving me that, like, you know, like maybe you find a roommate and it's like it doesn't work out or, you know, you get your own place and, you know, maybe somebody wants to raise the rent and like maybe you can't afford it, right? Whatever the case may be. But it's like the Ten of Wands has always been like, for me in this car, it's like someone that lives out of their suitcase, literally, right? Or maybe someone that lives in their car or like maybe someone that just doesn't have their own right cuz they're this person is just wandering from village to village literally there are things that they own all of their possessions that they own they are traveling with them so it's like spirits getting ready to get you to this position this point of transitioning your life where you're going to have the stability right cuz i'm looking at unstable over here unstable right uh, aries could have caused you guys to be unstable right cuz i'm behind the unstable i got aries uh, there is an Aries strong here. And yeah, no job behind that. So maybe an Aries person calls you guys to have this setback or whatever the case may be. And that's cool. That's fine. Right? You could just simply have Aries placements in your chart. But just know that spirits get ready to put you in the position to birth something new, to create something new here. For those of you that are physically having a birth, congratulations, okay? I wish you guys a safe and well delivery i didn't know really what to say but just safe and blessed delivery okay um if it's not a physical baby here then this is you guys like i said it's time to step out into the world it's time to get out there yeah the magician coming out here for you guys it i i'm seeing it in the reverse as well too i also saw the empress in the reverse here too so what i'm gonna say about that is like someone's maybe you guys are trying to get pregnant right and your partner is like 
sterile or whatever it's called, right? And maybe they, maybe he can't have any kids and he's not telling you, right? And so maybe you're making your, they're making you feel like it's something about you that you can't have children when really it's them. Maybe it's just you guys trying to go to the fertility clinic, right? And trying to get tested. This could be your partner too, not willing to compromise, not willing to work with you to go to the clinic to do these things, right? Because the magician in the reverse and the empress in the reverse is like, with the three of cups and the three of pentacles, it's like, why won't you work with me? Why won't you help me help us figure out why we can't conceive? So I feel like maybe this person really don't want children, okay? Or it could just be that they don't want them with you. Because there's something here where it's like, or maybe spirit is saying, hey, this is not the person you're supposed to be having kids with. This is why it's not happening. Whatever the case may be, there is a reason why this is happening. This is occurring here because spirit is like, rejection is redirection, goddammit. Rejection is redirection, goddammit. Okay, so maybe this is why the blockage is here. Or, again, maybe it wasn't your season. Like I said, we just had the eclipse, so now you're going to quickly get pregnant for those of you that genuinely do want children, you know what I'm saying? But that could, I'm seeing something like that here, too, because something was like, I'm here and I put a spell on you. So that is Hocus Pocus. I actually have that t-shirt. I actually have that deck here. Somewhere. Yeah, right here. The Hocus Pocus deck. Um, so this could be like a generational curse that someone may have been bestowed upon you, Libra, or maybe this is a Libra that's trying to bestow a curse upon someone else, where they're trying to have someone be this empress in the reverse, magician in the reverse, where they're trying to block someone's creativity, they're trying to tell people, hey, don't work with this person, and they don't even know shit about this person, don't even know the person. It could be something like that here. Whatever the case may be, just know... That these fuck, fuck people, okay, male or female, doesn't really matter, uh, karmics, whatever, y'all, y'all go down the same way, we all go down, y'all know that little kid nursery rhyme song, ashes, ashes, we all go down, yeah, all y'all little weak ass individuals will go down, you know what I'm saying, and that's what I do know, because spirit is going to enact when they feel like they need to. And depending on the person, if you know, you know. We're not going to really get deep into it. But we do have Aries and we have Taurus Libra energy here where you guys, your creativity has been blocked. Partnerships have been blocked. Um, success for you in some type of way has been blocked or at least you feel like it's been blocked. Uh, yeah, because we have the Eight of Cups here. There was still something that you still need to reflect on and experience here because we have the burning bowl in the water. So some of you guys may need to go ahead and do a release of a burning bowl session here. Like I said, we do have the um, the moon, um, the eclipse happened. I mean, sorry, the new moon. <laughs> coming up here around the 26th and 28th okay so around that time y'all may need to go ahead and do a burning bowl session here which is where you want to journal or write down jot down things that you guys feel like you need to disconnect from release or whatever the case may be and potentially yeah because look i never noticed this here but we do have a cup over here to the left that had resurfaced you see that so it's like this emotion has resurfaced for you guys again because there was still something that you guys kind of needed to heal, release, let go of. I feel like it just wasn't final, but it's like I feel like that last bowl is in the lake now and is burning. Um, and it and it you notice it hasn't been submerged on the water yet. So this emotion is something that just you guys just released. Whatever this is, it could be a job, it could be a boyfriend, it could be a girlfriend, it could be a grandma, a grandpa. Whatever this burden was here for you guys that you... Because anything that's burning on fire is like, it's a burden, right? Adele, 2929, uh, it set fire to the ring, 9 plus 2 is 11, right? So 11, 11. So this could have been like a false twin flame that you guys were associated with or dealing with here. Or that someone kept resurfacing, right? Because look at the bowl there. Someone kept resurfacing here, and which, which caused somebody an emotional 
disruption is what I'm getting here, right? Because when something from the past resurfaces and they're acting like whether they're saying that they changed or whatever, I'm here, ooh la la la, it's the way that we rock when we doing our thing. So this could have been someone that you've been rocking with for like a while because, uh, you know, Lauren Hill been around for a while, you know what I'm saying? And the Fugees was around for a while. But then what happened, right? They found out that, like, Proz was, like, kind of, like, a weirdo, right? He was, like, sleeping with his stepdaughter. Like, all this kind of weird-ass energy. So, it was, like, look at the time that the group was together, right? So, this could be, like, a group of friends that you were hanging around with. It is dealing with between three and four people. Like, maybe you've been with this person for, you know, whatever, since Fuji days, right? Let's just go with it because it's coming up. Nothing is a coincidence. So someone could be from, what are they, where are they from? Are they from, and didn't they start the group City High? And City High was from what? They all was from Jersey. I think the Fuji's is from like New York, New York. I think it was New York. I better say it right there. It is New York. Um, the Fuji's from like upstate Jersey, New York or whatever like that. City High is from like Trenton, I think. Anyway, it didn't work out with them either, right? So it's like, even if you're... So this is what Spirit is saying. It's like, even when you try to do something different, because you were still attached to this energy, because you didn't fully have clarity about something here with the hangman up right now. So that means at one point in time, this motherfucker was what? In the reverse, right? You didn't have clarity. You were uncertain of what way you should go to two of swords, of who you should connect with, who you should partner with. Who you should... Confirmation. Like, someone was causing this because the Seven of Cups showed up at the bottom of the deck. It didn't come out, but it showed. But it's like... Mm, confirmation. With the alarm and my phone's going off now. So it's like someone deliberately wanted to keep either you, Libra, in this confused state here or you were trying to project that energy onto someone else here. And this is why shit didn't work out for you, right? But because, like I said, look at what happened with the Fujis. How the group just decept, like they just like kind of fell apart. Lauren Hill just became like she was. She could have. She was an icon. She was on her way to become an icon. So this is someone that was like coulda, woulda, shoulda energy. Like you had the potential to be something great, but it's like by you doing black magic being low vibrational or like throwing monkey wrenches at people or like stepping on other people so you could build yourself up through your cups through your pentacles however it went down i ain't here to judge i'm here to read the energy whatever somebody was trying to stop block cock block shot down shoot down whatever the kimbe the tumble block the shit like mm -mm -mm. spirits like uh 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 uh-uh-uh, not no more. You're not blocking my baby no more going forward because now my baby's about to birth something new into this world. This is something mag magnificent that is going to be created here that someone was trying to block. Someone was trying to stop. Someone was trying to eliminate is what I'm hearing here. And it's like you motherfuckers need to go get with the good book like for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Because don't don't, don't go with that Stockholm Syndrome, okay? Don't. I, I need you guys to get out of that, release that. And it feels like, and it looks like someone has or will be releasing that Stockholm Syndrome here. Because, like, yeah, no. Spirit's like, yeah, no. Confirmation again with the phone. Spirit's like, yeah, no. Two of Swords, Hangman, Upright. Someone now has a realization here. That, yeah, this shit is not going down. I'm here. It's about to go down. No Jay-Z. Um, because we see what's happening on with social media. But I literally just heard that from one of his old school albums. I want to say Fade the Black, maybe. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but the Three of Wands in the reverse here. Like, yeah, this is was the reason that this opportunity could not come forward. You could not be brought forth because you may have still been in that Stockholm Syndrome yourself. And maybe this is what Spirit was working with. Um, someone obviously was projecting this energy onto you guys here with the Magician. You know? 
in the reverse, you know what I'm saying? If you look at it that way, because when you look at it upright, this is someone that's fully in their power that can create. Now, I'm hearing sorcery, so this could have been someone that was doing low vibrational sorcery work, right? We saw the five wands and the devil, so maybe this person was is a sorcerer in the reverse, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Charm. Those of you that know what it is, you know, you know, put it down below. But it's like, look at Leo. Leo was always like... Leo, you know, and it's like all the warlocks and all the little shit that they try to throw at Piper, Phoebe, and Prue, uh, it never worked, right? And even when the warlocks from time to time just so randomly, you know, thought that they were getting away with, with whatever, right? And it's like Leo was there showing up. If it wasn't Leo, then it was the two sisters trying utilizing their power their magic for good right to help those in the community but you do have warlocks you do have witches you do have unhealed energy out here that is the magician in the reverse the empress in the reverse which is sorcery energy right which is people that are using their magic abilities for not good obviously right but anyway, we got the three of wands. We're going to put it in the motherfucker upright because around here, we are bringing clarity and enlightenment to all of those that want to receive it. So with that being said, the spirits are going to either separate you from this energy or the energy is going to be separated from the universe. However it goes, whatever, whatever, however it goes, right? And now these opportunities will be coming in for you guys here with the three of wands because we have the hangman upright. Look, there's that seven of cups. You guys are no longer confused about who you are. You know what I'm saying? You guys have found have found it. Is what they're saying. You found it. Or they're about to allow you to find it, whatever the case may be. Yeah, look at that. Nine of swords. Look, there's the fool. We already have the fool right here, right? It says fools embrace. <laughs> it's like maybe you guys didn't know that you could fly. God damn it, I'm here to tell you you can fly, damn it. Alright, nine of swords, ten of coins, yes, the higher font and the nine of pentacles. Someone is getting ready to be furious. Furious. This is what I said. Bruce Bruce Leroy. Right? The last dragon. This is the year of eight as well. This is the year of the dragon as well. Um, if you know, you know, <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So someone was certainly trying to keep you guys. Someone could be falling off of a um, ladder or a roof or some type of high setting be very careful about that too. The dinosaurs and uh, come just looking like someone's up here and down or down. So anyway, this could be someone that was once looked at in the high mannerism, right? Because the higher font can represent a number of things. This is also the love, the light himself, right? Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? It is the higher font. It's the highest ability that you can reach, right? And then some. Um, so the higher font can be looked at in, mul in the multiple ways right about now. So this is like your intuition, Someone was trying to block that with the nine of swords here. And again, create that stagnancy with you guys elevating here spiritually. I am seeing that too. This is someone that also wanted to keep you guys boxed in in the reverse energy. So that way you guys wouldn't ascend, wouldn't accelerate, wouldn't reach for your higher purpose, right? Your higher calling, your higher self. Um, Because we have the fool, yes. Yes, and behind that is the Six of Wands. I love it. Victory and success. So it's like regardless of what these obstacles, people, places, things, universal law, I'm hearing that too. Because again, this eclipse only happens every 19 to 20 years. So there was a lot of obstacles you had to do, a lot of hurdles you guys had to climb over a lot of things you got to have to learn what was a good friendship what was a healthy relationship the most important thing is what is it like to be equally yoked with my divine self my higher self my highest vibrational version of myself 39 39 is on the clock right now 
which is again 11 11 so this is what i'm saying like you guys ascend it here and someone didn't want you guys to ascend someone wanted to do everything in their little weak ass power to keep you from ascending here but it's like at the end of the day we all know that the beautiful and lovely saint michael slayed the devil he's beneath michael's foot where the sword is pointing down so we know that if you guys are in the horror movies we see that yeah we know the devil comes out the play we we know we know we don't admire it we don't um nor do we support it or encourage it but however when they decide because i say they because those energies can show up in a multitude of ways it can show up in a lover it can show up in a friend it can show up in a family member it can show up in a job like the devil is very the mastery they're saying he's the master of lies and disguise right which we know four four fours in the clock so the devil will show up in uh, many of ways in our lives right but we have to be tapped in tuned in turned on to be able to identify it right or that light's got to be burning within us so passionately that it's like the light is automatically on it when it slithers our way like you know what i'm saying we already know look how she looking at this here look at that look at look look at her face 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 right you know what i'm saying so it's like but in order for us to get to that point, we got to go do some nines of sword shit, right? We got to be that ten of wands. Sometimes where we really don't have a foundation, we really don't have a place to call home. We really don't know whether we're coming or going. Those things are significant, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Sarah, what time is it? It's 8.46 a.m. But, yeah, y'all, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm just grateful that y'all are making it out. 41.44 now on the clock. Um, broke ass is still here. Not for long, god damn it. Okay. Again, depending on what side of the, the track you're on, right? Because karma is fair, right? And if you haven't been the fair Libra, then what you put out is what you're getting ready to get back. So, just know that. All right. We got spiritual hater. Yes. Oh, thank you, spirit. I love when the cards back up what I be saying and what I be seeing and feeling. All right. We got spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality. Light magic power. Yep. Sound like a warlock ass bitch to me. You know, male or female. Either way, they still a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Weak ass, punk ass, low vibrational hoe. You know what I'm saying? But we got a love triangle here. We got third party, multiple lovers, and choices here. Oh, Lord, Libra. You know, that actually is significant for some Libras because I know of a Libra, quite a few actually, but this Libra that I'm referring to in particular... I ain't dropping no names, but I'm just saying this is a Libra that I'm referring to is dating or dealing with multiple people. And it's like, I don't understand that because you are contaminating yourself with multiple energies from these people that clearly you're not a high vibrational person. Because if you are, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be doing it yourself, right? Let's just be clear. Second of all, it's like, if the three of wands is in the reverse here, and that, and that means somebody caught an STD, you don't know who you caught it from, right? You don't even know who to approach because you're dealing with multiple people here. So that's another problem. Red flag number two. God damn it. I'm hearing that song, boyfriend number two. I don't even know who sang it. But it's like, come on. It's like, why do we, why do we taunt ourselves with the possibility of impaired health with being intimate with multiple people. I don't understand it. That is not... And that would be the Empress in the reverse or the Emperor in the reverse because somebody that's truly a, a person of divinity knows themselves, right? And they wouldn't be putting themselves in those kind of positions. Just saying. Just saying. But anyway. So we do have some kind of a triangle here, okay? Okay. Um, shout out to Libras too, because I see the Ten of Coins here. Now, I know a Libra too that won the lottery. So, ooh, as soon as I said that, that card came pew, flying out. Oh, two. Okay. Cool. Look, giving money. I like it. I like it. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles here. And, oh, we got creeping. 
I don't like this card at all. It just gives me like a weird. <laughs> it gets bronze energy, right? From the Fuji's. Oh my god. It's just like so weird. Very, very weird. All right, we about to get out of here. Offer in the reverse here. So, okay. Mm, all right. We're going to take those two and that's it. Uh, we got girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. Didn't we talk about competing? All right. Clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic here. Some kind of mice at the bottom of the deck here. So y'all may have mice in your home, okay? You might see a mouse out and about in the street or a rat. All right, that would be a confirmation of this reading here. But coming from this love triangle situation here, for those of you that resonate with that, we do have um, this offer that fell out on love triangle. The offer is in the reverse here. So someone's hopefully realizing that their body is precious, uh, more valuable than gold. It's the most precious thing that anybody could have. Ultimately, with the three of wands, I'm, I'm leaving it in the reverse here because I'm definitely feeling like someone definitely... Called an STD here with the two of swords, the hangman, and like someone knows. Like, I don't even know if this person verbally addressed it or not with these three men or two to three people, whoever they're dealing with here. Because I feel like, and they might, because we see the girl fight here, so they may, some of them may, some of them will not. But I feel like the ones that won't, they're just gonna keep, keep it as a silent lesson, is what I'm hearing here, and they're gonna move forward. And they're not going to do this shit anymore. We got bad habits, drugs, addiction, addictions, and toxicities here. Someone could be addicted to any of these these particular things on the card. Hopefully not. Um, but I understand that addiction is real. And addiction is looks like any kind of thing, right? It could be alcohol, drugs, sex, any 46, 46 on the clock, any type of um, unhealthy low vibrational attachment right this is something that you're doing uh over and over and over again and it's really not healthy for you right so that wouldn't be a good attachment all right so we do have that here all right bad habits and we do have kissing ass all right so kissing ass this is could be they're saying that this is coming from this third party person here so whoever this person is uh or people Whatever you were dealing with, I don't really knew. God damn it. But, uh, damn. That's what I, I'm going to leave it here, Libras. Um, I hope you guys make a really, really good choice with moving forward here in your lives here for what's good for you in your highest format. Let's pull a few from here, the Falcon deck, real quick. Spirit, let's close this out for my Libras. Please and thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Somebody's definitely hating on your spirituality, though. Your spiritual abilities, your spiritual gifts. You, I'm hearing your spiritual ranking as well, too. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Somebody could be getting spiritually demoted as well, too. Because, like I said, just because you are a Libra doesn't mean that spirit is going to let you guys, you know do things out of context like god is a very um in sync in context in divine time in divine order type of god like they're not really gonna he, i'm i feel in my heart like god is not gonna allow things to to happen out of what has already been set in stone like you know what i, I feel like that i do I mean, in other words, why would he allow my people to stay in prison for 400 plus years? The Hebrews, right? I just don't understand. 48, 48, right? If, if God is God of all gods, right? All Of all gods, of all living things, of all, of all beings, anything that thinks about being in existence, they got to go through him, right? So, it's like when you really think about that, it's like, Did you let them be there for 400 years, enslaved by the Egyptians? Like, it was just, like, ludicrous. Anyways, we got Cancer here. Um, and we do have Taurus here that is showing up as well, too. So, you ha could have a North Node in Taurus or Cancer. Don't necessarily have to be. Or Pisces with the big heart here is giving me um, Ace of Cups energy. 
But it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Look, unstable coming out again. These bad habits that someone is attached to, hooked to, addicted to, prone to, is causing your instability. Okay? I'm not saying weed. This is like a harsh drug. Like, this is like heroin. This is like coke. This is like, you know, I'm hearing anthrax. <laughs> uh, somebody has Af Aflac. Aflac. I like that commercial. Yeah, look, I want you. No, you don't. You want to go to a clinic, goddammit. You want to sober the fuck up, for real. And even then, you still don't want me. And it's like no judging here, but it's like I can't be of something that I am not. I am what I am and all that I will be. And it's like I will. I am not a drug dealer. I am not a heroin addict. I'm not a, a line sniffer. You know what I'm saying? I'm not none of those things. So why would I accept that in my life? You understand what I'm saying? So you got to be mindful, man. You got to be mindful here. So it's like, no, we can't be friends. We can't be friends. Because I don't do those kind of, like, you know what I'm saying? Because then next thing I know, you're going to be trying to peer pressure me on some phony, fake-ass friend shit to be a part of what you, what you, no, no. And it's like, I don't know if y'all heard my other message here. I don't know which, what uh, sign I, I talked about it on, on the channel here. But it's like, we got email that flipped over and we're going to leave it here, guys. We do have one need. Are you kidding me? Hopefully this is a, this is a sanctified knee, uh, divine person that's coming in. Uh, but it's like I don't know. I'm not gonna really talk about it a lot here. But we all make mistakes, right? We all do, and we all have the ability to correct mistakes that we made. You know what I'm saying? By we can what does it say? Bryson Tiller, right my wrongs. Like we all have the ability to right our wrongs. This is whether we choose not to. You know what I'm saying? Real, real shit. But I'm going to say this real thing and then I'm going to get out of here. So, it's like, it was another reading that I spoke about this in particular on. Don't know which one it was. You can go look at it if you care. Um, but anyways, like, at one point in time, like, you know, I was lost and unawoken, right? Still in my low vibrational ways and hanging around low vibrational people. So, a lot of people that I was hanging around was like, you know, drug dealers, like cousins, people that was in the hood and the streets and stuff like that. Shout out to Riverside. Shout out to PG County. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to The Ville. Um, I'm not hating on none of those individuals that are still consumed in those energies because I understand that we all have to allow things to run our course, what I was just kind of speaking about. But anyways, take it from me, for instance. So I was hanging around that every single day. And it went from me making like $500 to do like a quick 30-minute run. You know what I'm saying? Like a mobile, mobile, mobile run to like me doing more than just mobile driving. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was a lot. Like I got caught up with, for one, the quick fast money, right? To make $500 in like three minutes was like, I mean, like, come on, like who's, who's punching the clock for that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's what kind of sinks a uh, like gets a lot of people wrapped into that kind of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? It's like the the quickness of the potentials, right? Uh, but at the, in the long run, we don't really look at the dinosaurs, tenosaurs energy. We don't really look at, you know, what can happen in the gist of that lifestyle, you know, just living that lifestyle, being around that kind of lifestyle, being around those kind of folks, you know what I'm saying? And what kind of real harm you really put not only yourself in, but your children if you have them, your loved ones, those that, that have them and care about them. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Like you you risk a lot, you know, and you don't really look at it at the point. You just look at it like, you know, quick money, racking it up, racking it in. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do know. But keep an eye out for, you know, this low vibrational person that's gonna potentially come back in. And they might have change, you know, I'm all for change. But I just don't revisit the past, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it was, like, something that led me astray from becoming the highest vibrational version of myself. You know, I can't, I can't do it, you know? And that's the blessing of being able to identify and learn from past mistakes, right? You know, I made a mistake, the nine swords, you know what I'm saying? The email coming in here. And someone could be having that realization, which is a beautiful thing. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that we have to resort back to things of our past, right? 
But that's what I have for you, Libra. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Oh, I'm so sorry, but shout out to Juanita. She was the March Mystery Box winner. Um, this month, Mystery Box has not been given out yet. Um, that will be going down here probably next week. So just keep it out on the page. Definitely ring the bell so that way you guys can be subscribed and know when I go live on the channel. Peace.